All right. So, dude, guys, we have a bunch of different ways to find a bunch of different people, right? We have a bunch of different ways to find a bunch of different people. If you have a cell phone, you literally have access to billions of people. Realize that you have access to billions of people, right? If you guys were to log on to Instagram, right? You hit the explore page. The explore page is that uh, magnifying glass on the bottom left-hand corner, right? Hit the explore page. The explore page is that magnifying glass on the bottom left-hand corner, right? This right here. Now you have access to literally everybody. So what I'm going to do is let's see this, this thing with Drake and his son, whatever. You don't even care about who posts this. Just hit any post randomly. Now the golden ticket, right, is this. Pay close attention. The golden ticket is this, the people in the likes and the people in the comments. Those are the people you prospect. Take a wild guess as to why. These are active followers. If they have no problem commenting on whatever this is, they're gonna have no problem commenting on your information, on your posts, right? If they can comment on a picture of someone, some random family, right? Drake and his son, they have no problem commenting on your stories. Right, especially if you have a hey, I have a way to make six figures in six months. Right, shout out to Ye, she posted it. I'm literally going through some of the stories. Ye was one of the individuals that posted it, and I guarantee you, she had a bunch of people that interacted with her and 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 a whole bunch of different leads, a whole bunch of different prospects. So, if they have no problem commenting on something like this, they're gonna have no problem commenting on something like who wants to make six figures in six months. Right, so what you're gonna do is three things attack the people, don't attack. But prospect the people in the likes. These are all active followers. Now, what I'm going to say, a couple ground rules. Do not touch the people with private pages. Private page, leave them alone. Chances are they're not that active on social media. Be honest. Chances are they're not that active on social media. So private pages, I leave them alone. So if it's not a private page, private page, I'm leaving you alone. Private page, I'm leaving you alone. Private page, I'm leaving you alone. Not a private page. This guy's like 12 years old. I'm leaving you alone. But you have access to uh, literally hundreds of people on that one post. Thousands of people actually on that one post, right? Those are the likes. Then you hit the comments. Hit the comments. And what you're, what you're going to want to do is this cool thing right here that no one actually takes advantage of. But this is something everyone should be taking advantage of. Like all of the comments. Like all the comments, scroll, like all the comments. Now, why do you think you're gonna like all the comments? The way your Instagram is set up, right? The way your Instagram is set up, when you go to your notifications, right? When you go to your notifications, every picture that gets liked is not straight down every single person that liked your picture, right? What it actually is, it's all the thousands of hundreds, whatever people that like your picture is all on one slide for that one picture, right? But if you were to like someone's comment, you'd be the only one that stick out, that sticks out, right? Do you guys get what I'm saying? You'd be the only person that sticks out if you were to like that person's comment. So obviously you're gonna say, the average individual is gonna say, who is this random person liking my, my comment? Who is this random person liking my comment? Oh, let me go out and check out this person's page. Oh, this, person's, this person has this, this, and that on their page. Oh, okay, this person is someone with high social value. Oh, okay, let me go ahead and reach out to this person. Oh, let me check this person's story. Six figures in six months? Hey, what is that about? I had no problem commenting on Drake's picture or whoever, whatever it is. Hey, what is that six figures thing about? So you're, you're constant. Whenever you're liking different pictures, you're like th different comments, excuse me. You're literally casting out a net. You're casting out your net. And you catch more people, the more active you are on your social media. Now, before I go to the other ways of prospecting, I want to tell you this. On social, we're touching social media first, then we're going to go into your, your, warm, your warm network, your, your warm market. But for social media specifically, the first thing you want to do, I kind of went backwards, but the first thing you want to do whenever you're prospecting someone, make sure your page, make sure your page is on point. Right. Make sure your page is on point. So I'm going to lay a couple ground rules for you. And the purpose of these ground rules is for this specific reason. You want to come across as somebody with what I call high social value. 
right? Come across as someone with high social value. Now there's specific things that you're gonna wanna include on your social media or exclude from your social media to come across as someone that has high social value. Case in point, right? Your name. I'm gonna offend a couple of you guys right now. Your name right now. If your name is, you know, Xbox player four underscore three, four, five, six, seven, I'm not following you. I'm not checking out your page. If your name is Lamborghini driver 97, I'm not following you. I'm not checking out your, your page. You don't come across as someone with high social value, right? Your, the purpose of your name is to do this, is to disrupt the pattern. Pay close attention. I'm, I'm getting really deep right now. The purpose of your name, your username, is to disrupt the pattern. It's called a pattern disrupt, right? Now, what does that mean? That means when you scroll through Instagram, what do you do? All you do is this. All you do is scroll, 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 scroll. And then you stop when? When do you stop scrolling? When you see a specific, you because you're scrolling through Instagram, but you're really only looking on the left side of your screen. You're really only looking on the left side of your screen. That's all you're doing when you scroll through Instagram. You're looking on the left side of your screen. What are you looking for? A specific color icon, right? Or a specific name. You're looking for your friend. You're looking for something that looks familiar. Familiar. You're looking for something visually appealing. That's what you're looking for. That's all you're looking for, right? So if your name is Xbox uh, Shooter four five six seven underscore five. Nobody's stopping for that. But if your name is something clean, like I am Austin Gossi, something clean, like the maker of taste, something clean, like Tim Trades, Mr. God, Jen Fortune, Fever, right? Nick Felix, something clean like that, you're going to stop. You're going to check out the picture. You're going to check out what it is that they have, what they posted today. And it's not an accident that the days you post on your actual feed, you get the most views on your story. That's not an accident. It's not an accident, right? Whenever your friend posts on their on the feed, right? Whenever your friend posts on his feed or his or her feed, what's the first thing you do? You check out their story. Let me see what this person did today, right? Let me see what this person did today. Why? Because people are naturally nosy. That's why reality TV, TV shows are a thing. That's why uh, YouTube vlogging is a thing because people are nosy. All the trash that's on TV is quote reality TV. It's not, it's not real. People are just nosy, right? Now you can leverage the fact that people are nosy and actually use that to help them make money, actually use that to, to grow your business. But you have to understand these things first. So write that down, interrupt the, disrupt the pattern don't have a million underscores and a million numbers in your username. I don't want to see your social security number in your username. I shouldn't have, you should not have your address in your username. Let's, let's, let's please remove that in 2021. When you walk in the room, right? When you're, when you're presented, when, when someone edifies you and brings you on stage, do you want to be, you know, PlayStation five player underscore six, seven? No. You want to be introduced like you're a celebrity. You want to be introduced as your username. If people are introducing you as your username, how would it sound? If when you walk into, like put a one in the chat, if you ever walk somewhere and someone calls you by your, your, your Instagram name, put a one in the chat. Hey, you know, it's this person. Yo, it's that person. Yo, it's Mike Take Profits. Yo, it's, it's Jen Fortune. Yo, it's Mitch the God, Ty the God, right? You want You want that. Right? Why? Because you're branding yourself. You're branding yourself. You're becoming somebody people want to follow. And that makes you what? A leader. You're becoming somebody people want to follow. That makes you a leader. That makes you someone with high social value. Now, something else you want to do, right? Pattern disrupt. You clean username, a uh, profile picture. Don't have just a picture of a car. Have a picture of you. Colors, colors matter. Right, I would definitely put a color. What you can do is put that green circle around your icon, right? That also disrupts the pattern. Why? Because the green circle is an indicator that you're on that person's close friends, 
right? The green circle is an indicator that you're on the person's, the, that person's close friend. So there's exclusive content just for you, an exclusive story just for you. You can put a green circle around your profile using the app called Canva, C-A-N-V-A. I'm not gonna explain how, because we'll be here all day, but C-A-N-V-A, you could put a green circle around your profile. You're disrupting the pattern. You're having people stop on your page. Next thing we're gonna talk about, your bio. Your bio is gonna give me a quick synopsis on what it is you're gonna be posting. So there's a couple of things you want to put on your bio. There should be a disqualifier on your bio. And there should be a humble brag on your bio. Write those two things down, disqualifier and humble brag. Before we get into exactly how to prospect via social media, I can tell you exactly how to prospect via social media, but if you don't have these things in place, it means nothing. Your execution can be perfect, but your presentation cannot be bad. It cannot be bad. So your bio has to have a disqualifier and a humble brag. So now what is an example of a disqualifier? Case in point, the girl on Instagram that says, don't DM me, usually gets the most DMs, right? The one that says, don't message me, usually gets all the messages. Why? Because someone, only somebody that gets a lot of messages can tell you, don't message me. You got to think that, right? She has high social value, so she's disqualifying and also qualifying certain people by saying, don't message me. What's an example uh, of a disqualifier? Uh, Instagram is for business purposes only. Something like that, right? A disqualifier, you're, you're telling individuals who you want to and don't want to interact with. Only someone with high social value can say that. Only somebody with high social value can say that. Now, an example of a humble brag. Now, this is something a lot of people actually struggle with, right? This is something a lot of people struggle with, but a humble brag is something like business owner. Something like that, business owner, right? You know, I help individuals earn income from home. Like it, it, I've seen so many different things, right? Google, you can't learn what I know on Google. You could put that in your bio. You cannot learn what I know on Google. You know how crazy, it's like, hmm, let me, what, do you, what do you know? What is it that you know? Only someone with high social value can even say that, would even think to say that. You cannot learn what I know on Google. Different ways to, 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 to brag humbly, right? And different ways to disqualify people you really don't wanna work with, right? Have all those things in place. Obviously, you wanna post consistently, and things like that. Now, back to the prospecting. Any questions before I get back to step-by-step step how you're gonna be prospecting? Any questions, any questions, any questions really quickly, All right? Cause I got something nice for you guys. I got something nice for you guys today. No questions, no questions were good, perfect. Disqualify one more time. So an example of a, of a, of a disqualifier would be, um, and it's not that you have to write this word for word. I'm not saying write this word for, I'm just giving an example. There's a, there's a billion better examples, but something like DM is for business purposes only. The people who write that usually get a whole bunch of random DMs and they have to say DM is for business purposes only. So someone with high social value can tell, can qualify who it is, who is it that's allowed to talk to them? Does that make sense? So you're coming across as, okay, cool. This person obviously gets a lot of messages, so they have to qualify people, right? This, this person gets a lot of messages, so they have to qualify people. This person is a, is a business owner, right? This person has chairman in their bio. Okay, a chairman, okay. With a clock, with a, with a what do you call that? An hourglass next to it. Okay, cool. Is this person the chairman? Chairman of what company? What, what is this, right? So you're creating a lot of mystique and mystery around yourself, right? Around your brand. You're making people interested in you so that when you prospect them, they actually want to engage with you anyway. They would have engaged with you anyway if, you, if they were following you already and you just posted, right? So back to prospecting. Again, hit your explore page. Hit your explore page. Go to any picture, literally any picture. This picture of a... Uh, Kawhi Leonard, I don't know what they're saying. We got NBA, that's funny, whatever. Go through the likes. These are all people you can prospect. 
all people you can prospect. Again, avoid the private pages. Go through the comments, like every single comment, as many comments as you can. These are all people you're prospecting. Because nine times out of 10, these people who you just like their comments, they're going to check out your page. They're going to check out your page. If I were to like your comment right now, randomly on one of your friend's pictures, you're going to be like, who the heck just liked my comment? Because I'm going to be a post notification. I'm going to be in your notification section by myself. It's going to say, Ty the God just liked the comment. And these hundreds of people like this page. This person just followed you. This person just followed you. But Ty the God just liked your comment. Who is this person liking my comment? Who is this? Oh, let me hit his page. Oh, it says chairman. Oh, it says check out my video. Oh, it says check this out. Oh, he has the follower. Oh, that's another thing. Followers to following ratio. You're going to want to fix that. Followers to following ratio. You should have more followers than following. You should have more followers than following. It's nothing wrong with following your, your favorite celebrities and they're not following you back. That's cool, whatever. But there's no way you should have 200 followers and you're following 7,000 people. That, that's not somebody with high social value. I want you to write that down. High social value. Those are the people that get the most enrollments via social media. The people who come across as people with high social value, right? So that's how it is you're going to be prospecting via your explore page. Now you can do the same thing on Facebook. You can do the same exact thing on Facebook, right? A lot of people sleep on Facebook, a lot of, and, and Snapchat as well. A lot of people sleep on Facebook and Snapchat. Do not sleep on Facebook and Snapchat. You have access to way more people when you use every tool available to you, right? So you're prospecting. Now we're, we're gonna go into the exact message. Right. We're going to go into the exact message right now. We're going to get really, 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 really specific right now. So we just went through high social value, what you need to come across as before you start prospecting. We went over the different ways you can just, just start attacking different lists via social media. Lists of likes, lists of comments. Those are the lists I'm talking about. Right Now we're going to get real specific. We're going to get real specific. Feel free to ask questions in the chat. But I'll tell you like this, let's say I wanna prospect somebody randomly, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like some of their pictures, like three, four pictures, check out their story, see what is it that they're doing. If there's something on the story you can comment on, comment on the story as a little less like random, little less random, right? Which is cool, which is fine. If there's nothing on the story, reach out to them via, via just DM. Reach out to them via DM. Now, there's a bunch of different things you can do. So on, on Instagram specifically, now this is one person, one person right here, I just randomly chose them. Now, you can act, are they already a trader? Well, it already says digital entrepreneur, it's crazy. All these traders are already on my page. Let me pick somebody random, random, random. Um, all these meme pages. Let me pick somebody random, let me refresh. I'm going to show you my message. Now, there's an automated message that I use as well. CEO, life coach. Okay, she's not in the business. Like a couple pictures, like a couple pictures, like a couple pictures. DM. Now, there's something really, really cool I want to, I want to put you guys onto. It's called quick replies, right? Quick replies. Now, what you can do is I type in promo, promo, and then the number one. There's a blue button that's going to pop up. If I were to tap on that blue button, it automatically populates a message for me, right? It automatically populates a message. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to show you how to do it. And I'm going to do it again. Type in promo, P-R-O-M-O, -O one. Now, you can make it say anything. That blue button, I tap on the blue button, automatically populates a message for me. This is how you can mass prospect. You, I can talk to a hundred people in three minutes. Literally, I can talk to a hundred people in three minutes. You know how sometimes when you type on your iPhone, like OMW, like on my way, and it populates on my way with a question, with an exclamation point. You can do that on social media. You can literally do that via social media. So now I'm gonna get into the, I'm gonna get into the messages and I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna get into the messages that I send out 
And then I'm going to show you how to set up your own specific uh, quick replies. So promo one is, what's up? Your content is dope. I would love to connect with you on a business level. What do you do? Compliment. Yo, your content is dope. I would love to connect with you on a business level. What is it that you do? What do you do? Simple. She can say, I work here. I work there. I work there. I work here. She can say what type of business. It doesn't even matter. The, the things I'm giving you right now, it doesn't even matter how they respond. You can always get off your, 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 your message. You can always get your message off. So number one, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna really send it. What's up? Your content is dope. I would love to connect with you on a business level. What do you do? What do you do? What's up? Emoji. Your content is dope. I would love to connect with you on a business level. What is it that you do? Now, it doesn't even matter what this person says. It doesn't even matter. I do this, I do that. What type of business? What type of this? It doesn't even matter. The second message, okay, cool. This person said, I'm a personal development coach. Okay, dope. This person said, hi, thank you. Wow, she's replying. We're about to sign this person up right now. Hi, thank you for reaching out. I'm a personal development coach. That's dope. That's amazing. See, someone says C10 right there. That's amazing. You would kill it in my business. All right, I'm gonna say personal development coach and I'm gonna put a specific emoji. Boom. This is this is this is like candy. This is like candy from baby's easy. Yeah, you would kill it in my business. Boom. Make sure I spelled that right. Development coach. Yep. So I said personal development coach with a with a mind blown emoji. You would kill it in my business. You would kill it in my business. Now, what do you think she's gonna say next? What business? What do you do? Blah, blah, blah. What am I going to say? What are you supposed to say? This is a question for you guys. What are you supposed to say? You don't say I do Forex. You don't say I'm in this. You don't say I'm in that. Be in a hurry. Get them on a call. Exact. Exactly. You have it already. Mamba movement said it. What do you do? Like you, the point of this is to get them on an opportunity call. If you can't wait for the opportunity to call, you get them on, a, you call your mentor, say, hey, I have somebody. Can you help me through a close? Easy, guys. Literally, you better watch me sign someone up right now. As soon as he replies, you better see me sign someone up right now. So I'm not just telling you stuff that I think works. I'm telling you things that you're watching it work right now. This person has, I didn't even see it. She has 79,000 followers. What is over? It's over, right? So those are different messages I send out. Those are different messages I send out. Hey, what are you for work? Oh, I do this. What? Uh, uh, oh, I'm a bartender. Bartender? Crazy, like, you know, mind-blowing emoji. You would crush it in my business. Straight to the point. And I guarantee you, she already checked out my page. I guarantee you, she already checked out my page. Now, if my page was private, do you think she responds to me? No. If I only posted once a week, do you think she responds to me? If I never posted on my story, do you think she responds to me? If I follow 10 million follow people and I only have 100 followers, do you think she responds to me? If my name was Ty the underscore God underscore four, five, six, seven, eight, do you think she responds to me? No, she doesn't respond. Right. So you're, people and these aren't things you, you you're you just now hearing. These are things you've heard already before. You already knew you're not supposed to have 10 million underscores. You already knew you're supposed to post every day. Right. Now you're seeing it in action. Now you're seeing why. Right. Now you're seeing why. Simple ways to prospect straight to the point. Push them on information. Peak the interest by to share the information. Get them on a call. Three way close with my mentor. 
three way close with my platinum leader. Three way close, even I don't care if it's downline, upline, get somebody else on the call. It's just a form of validation. It is a form of validation. We went over that yesterday. The three way call is a form of validation. Easy, easy, easy ways to prospect. So now, while we wait for her to respond, we're gonna, I'm gonna teach you how to set up your quick replies. So you can just massively, pro, you can just crazy, crazy, crazy prospect. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your settings from your page. You're gonna go to your, like your, your actual page. You're gonna go to your settings. You're gonna go to business, my bad. You're gonna go to business. I would connect it to the wire and share my screen, but my wire is kind of like on and off right now. Um, you're going to go to save the replies. And these are the different replies. Oh, my bad. These are the different replies. So I'm gonna say it one more time. Somebody write it out in the chat. Settings, right? You settings, business, save the replies. Settings, business, save the replies. Perfect. Settings, business, save the replies. Right there, you can add on the top right hand corner, you can add whatever shortcuts you want. Add whatever shortcuts you want and then add whatever message you wanted to say. So for those that had a question about the first message, the first message was, what's up, dope content. I would love to connect with you on a business level, period. What do you do? What's up? I do the, this emoji. What's up, this emoji. Your content is dope. I would love to connect with you on a business level. What if your new save replies then, bro? New save replies, it's all good. So the question was, what if yours don't have save replies and ask you for new, to save new replies? That's fine. Create a new reply, right? Create a new reply. Again, last time, the, the message, what's up? Your content is dope. Um, I would love to connect with you on a business level. What do you do? Now there's an emoji after the what's up. There's a this emoji, like a, I don't know what this is emoji, but it's like a cool emoji. It's a cool emoji. Someone said, what if it's clear what they do? I don't care. I'm sure they do more than just what's on Instagram. I do more than what's just on my Instagram. I'm sure you do more than what's on your Instagram, right? What is it that you do? Your content is dope. Right? And you saw their content already. So let's say they're a football player, whatever. You saw their content already, right? So I'm telling you your content is dope. And then I'm asking you, what do you do? So if, it, if it's a baseball player for the, for the Ravens, whatever. I'm, I'm, dope content, what do you do? Oh, I play football. I play, so I'm getting them to, to think. If all they do is play football, that's a problem. If all they do is a bartender, that's a problem. If all they do is work a job, that's a problem. There's nothing wrong with having any of those professions or those jobs, but there is something wrong with only having that profession, only having that job. And I'm getting them to realize that by just asking them what they do. I'm getting them to realize that. It gets real deep, it gets real, real deep. And then the next thing I say, the next thing I say is, it's like an underscore, it's like a blank, busted, just bust your scalate emoji, right? Mind blown emoji. So like bartender, you would crush it in my business. Oh, uh, teacher, you would crush it in my business. Therapist, you would crush it in my business. That emoji right there in the chat right now. You would crush it in my business. What do you do? They're gonna say, what do you do? And we already know where that goes next. We already know where that goes next. If you did that to 300 people every day, what rank would you be? Even if they say McDonald's, McDonald's. So you can, you can, you can follow directions. Perfect. McDonald's, you were crushing my business. You're sweating, man. You would crush it in my business. Chairman, charisma, chairman. If you did that to 300 people every day, you'd be chairman. So now the question is, why aren't we doing this? Now the smart answer would be, oh, I didn't know I could. Now you know. So you have 30 days to do this. The rest of May, you have to do this, right? You have to do this. Now that's social media. Now, if you haven't, let me back, let me backtrack. If you have not touched your contact list, there is a big problem. There is a big, big, big problem. So I'm gonna do contact list. I'm gonna touch Snapchat. Snapchat is the same. So Snapchat, 
before I touch contact, Snapchat is real, real easy. You add everybody. You add all your friends. Make sure your story is cool on Snapchat before you add everybody. Because when you add everyone, they're going to get the notification, hey, such and such has added you. And the only thing they can do is check out your Snapchat story, right? That's the only thing they can do. So make sure your story is intriguing first. Your story is something people can engage with. You went to dinner, you went to whatever, you went to whatever, and then you have a poll or you have a question or you have a, a post that says, like Ye posted, what if I told you I can help you make six figures in six months? Who would want the information? Make sure you have something very, very um, provoking. Nothing crazy, but something that makes people engage with you, right? Something that makes people engage with you towards your, like, you know, about your business, right? Make sure you have that set up. Then you add every single person, like just add all your contacts. They're going to check out your page, check out your story, and they're going to engage with your story, right? They're going to engage with your story. No, my prospect did not answer, but I promise you I'll sign her up. Promise you. Did not answer. They didn't see it yet, but I promise you, she's going to sign up. Promise you. It's done already. It's done. So that's how you do Snapchat. Now, your actual contacts, like this is a thing that a lot of people really don't understand. There's a chairman in your contact message, right? There is a chairman in your contact message that you are not speaking to. I don't care if you haven't talked to them in two years, message them. Message them. I don't care if you haven't talked to them in five years. Message them. Your contact list is a list you've been building your whole life. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this is what I want everyone to do. I want you to do this right now. Go to your contact page, right? Go to your contacts on your phone. Go to your contacts, right? Go to your contacts. If you have, if you have an iPhone, scroll all the way down, and it tells you the number of contacts you have. Mike said he has 845 contacts. Mike, if you were to start the business today and you invited every last one of your contacts to the business, 845 people, what rank would you be? Right? Nika said 1,504 contacts. You should be platinum 5,000 already. 593 contacts. You should be minimum P2 already. 228 contacts. You too should be minimum P2 already. Scorpio said 1793. That's a chair. Those are chairman numbers. P5 numbers. 86. You should be P1. These are this. That's the list you've been building your whole life, your entire life. Those are your prospects. How do you prospect them? That's the golden question. How do you prospect them? The best way to do it, especially if you have an iPhone, send a voice note. Send a voice note. Send a voice note, send a voice note, send a voice note. Send a voice note, send a voice note, send a voice note. Send a voice note. Especially if you haven't talked to them in a minute, send a voice note. You can do that or you can be really brave and call them. Just straight up call them. Now, what are you doing when you call them? What are you doing in the voice note? There's two things you're going to want to do. I'm going to tell you right now. There's two things you're going to want to do. You're going to edify the opportunity Edify the opportunity and give an exaggerated statement. Edify the opportunity and give an exaggerated statement. If your high school friend, if your middle school friend calls you randomly and says, yo, bro, where are you? Yo, you put your, you got your headphones on? Yo, put your headphones on right now, bro. Who's around? Yo, put your headphones on, bro. I got to tell you something right now, bro. You haven't talked to this person in years, bro. You haven't talked to this person in years. And they're like, yo, put your headphones on. You're like... You think you're in like Mission Impossible right now. Yo, put your headphones on. Bro, bro, I figured it out. Bro, I have the solution, bro. Bro, yo, what, what, pick out what color Lambo you want. Pick out what, where do you want to live? LA, Italy, New York. Pick out where you want to live, bro, because I figured it out. Bro, I know exactly how to make six figures in six months. It's over. If they call you like that, it don't matter what they're saying next, you're gonna sit on a call. Bro, I know exactly how to make six figures in six months, bro. Yo, bro, I've, I've actually found a couple millionaires, bro. They actually mentor people and show people how to do it. My million, bro, my mentor is giving out free game tonight at nine o'clock. 
So look, I don't know what you're doing at nine o'clock, bro, but push it back 20 minutes is not more important than this. Oh, I work. Oh, bro, step out for 20 minutes. You want to work or you want to be rich? Let me know right now. You want to work? You want to be rich, bro? I only I called you for a reason, bro. It's not an accident. I called you for a reason. I told you to put the headphones on for a reason, bro. I can't. Like, let's let's do this. And this is the line that always works, especially if they're giving you a hard time, and it's somebody you've known for a while. This is the line that always works. They're like, nah, I don't know, I don't know. Listen, bro, you're not about to make me get rich alone. You're not about to make me get rich alone. When I'm rich, don't ever say I didn't try to put you on. They're sitting on the call. You send them the 9 p.m. call, follow up 10, 15 minutes before, make sure they're on the call, three-way close. So you peek the info, the call was the S, the share info, three-way close. If you did that, who was it? What were the numbers? Naeem, if you did that to 255 people, how many are on the call? Riyadh, if you did that to 450 people, how many are on the call? Roosevelt, if you did that to 248 people. Scorpio, if you did that to 1,793 people, how many of those individuals sit on the call? And of the people on the call, how many sign up after a three-way close with your chairman, with your platinum leader? This business is not a difficult thing, right? It's not a difficult thing. It's work you got to do is you got to put in the work. You got to be on the, on, the, on the grind. You got to be on the grind. Bria said half, maybe if half of those people were on the call and then of that half, only 10% signed up. And you, you probably be a, a rank above and you taught everyone on your team how to do that. You'd be chairman. And they taught everyone on their team how to do that. They'd be chairman. All right. It's literally that simple. Right. And someone said you call them regardless of how long it's been. Yes. 100%. Because you really don't understand how, how impressive and influential you actually are. You really don't understand how impressive and influential you actually are. You may view yourself as regular, regular, regular Joe Schmo, but that person may view you as that was the smart girl. That was the smart guy. That was the cool guy who always held it down, always held the spot for me in lunch. That was the cool guy who always held the spot for me at the lunch table. That was a cool guy who always gave me a, who gave me a dollar here and there whenever I needed it right after school. Let me pick up. That's the cool guy who I follow on Instagram and they don't even know I follow them. That's, that's the girl I had a crush on that I follow on Instagram that she doesn't even know I follow her. And she talks about Forex all the time. She talks about be, uh, personal development all the time. She, talk, she looks like someone who's, who knows where she's going and she's calling me, let me pick up. If you when you come across as someone with high social value, you don't have to think twice about how long do I have, how long has it been since I talked to this person. You're someone with high social value. If Drake calls his middle school friend, do you think he's thinking twice about it? If Jay Z calls his middle his his elementary school friend, do you think that he's thinking twice about it? No, because these are, these are people with high social value. Understand, you are in the same space. Understand you are in that same stratosphere. And when you move like it, other people respect it. When you move like that, other people treat you like that. Move like the person you want to become. That's how you become the person you want to become. Sheesh, I'm doing it to you guys today, bro. I'm really doing it to you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Would you follow up on someone who declined? A close friend of mine did. Yeah, of course. You know how you follow up? The perfect way, especially if it's a close friend, you say 911, call me back. 911, call me back. 911 means emergency. 911, call me back when you see this. If someone randomly texts you 911, call me back, you're going to, I don't care if you're at an event, your chances are. You're going to leave the event and say, yo, is everything okay? You're going to leave the room. Yo, you're, you're going to leave whatever circle you're, yo, you good? Bro, bro you put your, you put your headphones on. All right, they're on, bro. What happened? Yo, bro, I figured it out. What do you mean you figured it out? What? You took 911. What? 
Yo, I figured it out, bro. It's over, bro. They're going to be like, bro, what? And this is because you know what you're doing? You're edifying the opportunity. You're making an exaggerated statement. And you're putting butts in seats. You're putting people on the Zoom calls. That's how you prospect your warm market, your contact list. If, you ever, if your mom doesn't know about your business, you don't care about this. I promise you, you don't. If your man man doesn't know about your business, if the Amazon person who drops off all your stuff every week doesn't know about your business, you don't care about this. If the person who bags your groceries doesn't care, doesn't know about your business, you don't care about this. And I promise you, you're going to get mad every single time it says such and such just joined Telegram and you didn't talk to them. Because you know who did talk to them? I did. And now they're going to join my business. If you want to tell your grandma, I'm going to sign her up. If you don't tell your cousin, I'm going to sign him up. And don't be mad because you had all the opportunity to sign up grandma and you chose not to. Everybody wants to make more money. Everybody wants to be rich. Everyone wants passive income. Why not give it to them? Don't play God. Don't prejudge anybody. Give every single person the opportunity. Everybody eats. Everybody wants to eat. Everybody wants opportunity. You're literally the plug for financial freedom. And, and you're trying to pick and choose who deserves to be free. Don't play God. Every single person gets the opportunity. Every single person has that, has that opportunity, right? That's how you prospect your contact list. That's how you attack social media. And uh, that's how you talk Instagram and Facebook. That's how you attack um, Snapchat. Any questions so far before I let you guys go? Gave you guys exactly what to say in the order. Your goal is to move that prospect in front of information. That's the goal. Without giving out, I do Forex, 6.6 trillion. We have scanners, we have go live, we have millionaire mentorship. And I mean, you can, I guess you can mention that, but your goal is to not give out too much information, right? Your goal is to not give out too much information. Your goal is to get that person on an opportunity call. Get that person in front of some information, in front of some information, not give it out yourself. All right. Um, what do you say when they add you back on Snapchat? When they add you back on Snapchat, chances are they check out your story and they'll engage with you. And if they don't engage with you, you can uh, put a post, a simple post, right? A simple post about um, I have the blueprint on how to make six figures in six months. Who wants it? And you send it out to every single person, every single person on, on your Snapchat. So that, that was for you, Nika. That was for you. <clears throat> that would be you. Um, what do you say if someone thinks you're scamming them? I need an example. Because it, 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 it's two things. Your, your, your page and how you approach them and what they think about money, how they view money, are the three things that's going to determine whether or not they think you're scamming them. Uh, what if the op call always interferes with the schedule? Dope. Let me know when you have 15 minutes so you can watch this eight minute video. So let me know when you have 15 minutes free. Boom. Okay. I have the next 15 minutes free. Check out this eight minute video right after this video. I'm going to get on a call with you and I'm going to help you make money tonight. Don't tell them how much don't tell them. Watch this eight minute video right after you watch this. I'm going to help you make money tonight. Straight to the information, straight to the information. That's if the alcohol interferes with their uh, schedule. Uh, and just put your quote on Facebook. Got three people in my... Just put your quote on Facebook. Got three people in my inbox right now saying they're down. It's simple. It's simple. Scorpio got three people already interested. And the call's not even over. And he's... Bro, what? Come on. Come on, man. Yes, your IG has to be tripping. Because someone said, pictures on my Explore page don't show the comments. Um, is my IG tripping? It might be. It might be. Yeah, it probably is. Because I just got this person from a comment. I literally just got this person from a comment. Um, uh, 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 Ty, can you give an example of how you would uh, prospect a stranger bagging your groceries? You've seen them a couple times, but never said none. How would you go about putting them on? I ask people, oh, hey, how's it going? How, like small talk. Hey, how's it going? Thank you so much. Yo, bro, quick question. Do you like working here? Uh, yo, it's okay. You know what I'm saying, Bill? If I can help you make more money and quit here and 
would you would you be interested in that? Yeah, you know, look, I'm gonna give you some information. Ch take my Instagram. For, when it's in person, I usually don't just go into this giant spiel. I get the Instagram first. Why do I get the Instagram? Because I know my Instagram, which is your business card. Your Instagram is your business card. I know my Instagram, I come across to someone with high social value. Oh, they didn't even know whose groceries they was bagging. I promise you, they didn't even know. They didn't even know you get mentorship from millionaires on a day-to-day -day basis. They didn't know that. But now they do on social media or they can tell on social media. You're not really supposed to say that on social media, but they can tell, right? <clears throat> um, can you link IG to Snap? I'm not, I don't think you can, I'm not sure. Uh, we're good, we're good. They had comments sometimes, oh, so we're helping you with Sada. Okay, perfect. So we're good on the questions, we're good on the questions, right? So again, contact list, you got the sauce. IG, you got the sauce. Comments, pick, uh, comments, likes, you got step-by-step -step what to say, and your goal is to get them in front of information. Snapchat, you got the sauce. In-person stuff, you got the sauce. Uh, what if we have people that don't carry their demeanor and they don't have the confidence, still run the play the same? 100%. 100%. The reason you can get more than you have right now is because you, you can become a better person than you are right now, right? So life is literally like a video game. You ever had like a video game where you could travel all throughout the whole world, but there's this one piece of the city that's blocked off. That piece of your city is chairman. You have to complete certain levels before you can reach that city. Confidence is one of them, right? Speaking is one of them. Zoom calls is one of them, right? You have to complete these levels before you hit chairman. It's not an accident that this is, I guarantee you, this isn't the only situation where, the, where confidence was an issue with this person, where confidence was an obstacle with this person, right? So literally say, hey, if you wanna make this amount of money with this opportunity, you gotta develop a level of confidence. Now you as a leader, you could put them in position to help them develop confidence, like throwing them on a Zoom call in a midnight heater, right? Things like that. Hey, five minutes for a call, you're gonna open this call, we're not gonna do the call. Things like that. Hey, drop your Instagram on the pay on the on the call. So you have 30, 40, 50 people following you really quickly. And they fall in love. They fall in love with what leaders do. Because they're already natural leaders, but life kind of messes us up. Um, so we're good. Uh, so the ones that don't respond, do I keep hitting them up? Leave it. Leave it. Like a couple more pictures, leave it. Leave it. There's too many people out here to be caught, caught up with one, any one person. Do not fall in love with potential. See, I don't care that this person that we, we prospected has 79,000 followers. If they don't move, respond or anything, there's thousands of other people with more followers. Even if it's not more followers, there's thousands of people that will respond, that will, that will go chairman before this person, if this person is not serious about the opportunity. Uh, uh, so we got everything. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Prospecting face to face. Um, small talk. Hey, how's it going? How are you doing today? How are you feeling today? And then we were speaking specifically about a person while they, they were bagging groceries. That was the example, right? Yo, let me ask you a question. Do you like working here? Do you like working here? Do you like what you do? If I can help you make more money without changing anything you're doing right now, would that be something you're interested in? Would you listen? Yes? Cool. Take my Instagram down. I'm going to message you. Follow me. Like, what's your Instagram? I'm going to follow you and I'm going to message you. If I can help you make more money without changing anything you're currently doing, would you listen? Okay, cool. Let me get your Instagram. I'm going to talk to you later. Um, cool. Last question. How do we put the green circle around our IG? Canva. C-A-N-V-A. C-A-N-V-A. So thank you guys so much. I really don't want to go over an hour. I know it's 1 a.m. for a lot of people. I really don't want to go over an hour. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Um, and I'm going to see you guys at the top because the bottom is way too crowded. All right, guys. Take care. Be safe.